Hello everybody, this is Reese Gibson with QTE Manufacturing Solutions, Master Cam Dealer, with this month's tech tip. You know, modeling drill points in a solid model can be difficult. Well, here's a little trick that can actually help you model drill points in a, in a solid model. And as machinists, most of them are visual people, so if you have a blind hole, uh, the machinist thinks he has to have a flat bottom in it and Mastercam doesn't have a real easy way to model drill points uh, until now. Um, what I'm going to do is create a simple solid and we're going to type in a, a nominal size and lock it and I'm just going to basically throw some points up here. Okay. Now when you extrude these It's going to give you a flat bottom, and there is other workarounds to, to uh, we're going to cut the body here, there's other workarounds, so we're going to go in a half inch deep. Well, if this is a 118 degree split point drill, each side of the drill will be 59 degrees. So the old machinist rule was if you took the diameter times 0.3, you would get the drill tip point. From the manual programmer. Okay, so we have to add that two or a half inch deep. So basically, if you take your diameter, which is 0 0.5 times 0 0.3, you get 150 thousandths, which we add on to our half inch right here. So basically, we're going to go down 650 thousandths. Now we're going to use the solids chamfer. This is a little tip. It's pretty pretty simple to use. And when we go to our solids, so it's chamfer, we're going to use distance and angle. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick the floor. The floor of these. Okay. So really the distance is going to be half my whole size, which is 250. Right? Now if you take 90 degrees, minus your 59 degree included angle, you should get 31 degrees, which gives you drill points. Very simple. Now when you analyze the distance, pick the top of here to the bottom of your, and you come up with two tenths difference. So it's a simple way to model drill points, that way the machinist knows he can use a drill. So the only, the only thing is you have to add your drill point manually, because when you do the chamfer function, which is really simple, there's no geometry creation, it seems like a single seam, seamless step. Hope to see you next time on QTE's Mastercam Tech Tip.